Hey, on the channel, it's time to get ultimate again with the WWE Mattel Fan Takeover Amazon Exclusive Ultimate Edition, Bill Goldberg. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Amazon exclusive fan takeover ultimate edition unboxing and review. And today we've got Big Bill Goldberg. But remember for all your other wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles. Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. And of course, as of right now at least, this is an Amazon exclusive. That could change. You never know what might happen. Uh, but we're no stranger to the Ultimate Editions, of course, via Amazon. They've been getting a lot of exclusives recently, and it makes all the sense in the world. Walmart, Target, Amazon, those are the big three. They're going to get their own exclusives to drive traffic to their website or brick-and-mortar stores or brick-and-mortar store websites. You guys get the point there. Uh, so no strangers to any kind of exclusives on a bunch of different toy lines is Amazon. But I can tell you one thing. We're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to do some comparisons at the end, and we'll see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging on old Bill Goldberg here. There he is. You get the big gold title belt. You get the U.S. title belt. You get extra hands, extra heads. A lot going on in this package. And Bill's not the most ultimate, ultimate guy. There's pretty plain Jane, and we'll get into that a little bit here. But, of course, traditional Ultimates box, a little bit different, of course, being a fan takeover. Ultimate Edition logo, really proud there. Classic Bill Goldberg shot on the side. We've all seen that picture before. Goldberg on the other side. Nothing fun there. UBC's warnings, nothing fun there. And then the back, oh yes, we get the tail of the tape, we get the blurb. We get glamour shots of the in-ring variety and the action figure variety. So without further ado, let's see what it says about old Bill Goldberg here. Height six foot four from Atlanta, Georgia. Finisher, the old jackhammer, career highlight, universal champion. Is that his highlight? I, I think that big WCW win would be, but who knows. Uh, let's see here. The pounding of drums and the blaring of trumpets in gladiatorial unison mean only one thing. It's time for the unstoppable, destructive, fire-breathing dragon known as Goldberg. Once the bell rings, he charges into battle with a head of steam and reckless abandon, leaving only one question in his wake. Who's next? Oh, truer words never been spoken. Of course, this was fan takeover where you could vote for which Goldberg you want. This is WCW August 1998 edition. The other one was WWE June 2003, WWE November 2016. Now, I always got to call a spade a spade on these things. I love that the fans get a vote, but I hate that the fans get a vote because guess what? The average Joe out there, the people that vote on WWE's website, WWE's social media for these things, I bet you 95, maybe even higher percent of the people that actually vote in these don't even collect wrestling figures. I would have to believe that to be the case because obviously WWE Twitter has a pretty wide net and not everybody that likes wrestling actually collects wrestling figures. But then they look at the list of options, much like the Ultimate Warrior. They see WrestleMania 6. Most hardcore fans know, oh, that's the big one for Warrior. I'm going to vote for that. Not knowing that, hey, there's a bunch of Ultimate Warrior figures already in WrestleMania 6. Let's get something different. Let's get something else going on. Uh, same thing with Bill Goldberg. They see WWE 2003, WWE 2016, WCW August 1998. Well, WCW is going to win in a pretty big landslide. That's just going to happen because most people, when they think Goldberg, they think back to WCW, the streak, all that. So one WCW item here. People are going to vote for that. If they don't know wrestling figures, they don't know anything. Oh, yeah, that's that's it. That's the most iconic. Let's get that. When we've had that before in basic, elite, uh, entrance greats, uh, back all the way to the Jack Classic days, we've had that a lot. But Goldberg, at the same token, is not an Ultimate Warrior with tons of different outfits, face paint, things like that. He's pretty much bare bones, is about as bare bones gets in wrestling. So it's cool to get an Ultimate Edition, but it's not going to be as much smoke, no pun intended, and mirrors as some of the other ones where you can really dress them up, really build them out. That being said, they did some things here that I think Mattel needed to do to step up this one and take it to the next level, to that ultimate level. Because you think of this when you're sitting in the boardroom or whatever at Mattel, okay, we're going to make a Goldberg ultimate. you got to really put the pen to the paper and say, how do we make this ultimate? How do we make this happen? And let's dig in and let's find out how they made that happen. Let's get them out of the package here. And Goldberg, on the side it says, the man they call Goldberg. 
And then, of course, you know what the other side is going to say for the old Easter egg. Who's next? Who is next? That's that's the age-old question. Who's next? Uh, nice shoebox packaging. We're very accustomed to this at this point, as you guys all know. Very cool. See you later. Up high. Towards the sky. There it goes. Plastic prison for Goldberg. There he is, looking only like he could look in the old plastic prison. All kinds of accessories here. We're going to break it up. We're going to do accessories first. If I don't knock all the accessories off the table, so let's get all this stuff out. Uh, Goldberg, quite the guy, and a lot of similarities to the Ultimate Warrior. A lot of people felt he couldn't wrestle, he couldn't do much. Uh, you know, all the stuff you hear about Warrior, you hear a lot of that same stuff about Bill Goldberg, and it looks like his smoke accessory is locked in. Uh, I say at the end of the day, we all know wrestling isn't on the up and up. Yes, we know it all, but it is staged, it is scripted. And guess what? Most people that do their jobs, they want to do as little as possible and get paid the most money. See you later. For the most part in everything you do, you want to do as little as possible. Well, how can I do as little and get paid the most? There's something to be said about that. And if you look and you take that business step back in wrestling, a guy like Goldberg, a guy like Ultimate Warrior, are they the greatest wrestlers of all time? Think about that. Think about that. I mean, yes, it's great to have those 10 uh, hour-long Broadways every single night like Ric Flair, just honing your craft, doing it for the love of the business. Hey, man, I'm all for that. It's a passion project. I'm passionate about a lot of things as well, as you guys know. But at the end of the day, if you're looking at financial, things like that, does Goldberg got it figured out? I think he would. Some could say he is the greatest wrestler of all time when you really think of it uh, that way. So I want to put that out there real quick. All right, now let's get through this ultimate here. Let's go through these accessories. Happy to report we get two fisted hands for Bill Goldberg. Of course, he's got his UFC-style UFC gloves going on, uh, like he always wore back in the day. we got two big old fists there. And then you got two pointing fingers, which is interesting. I guess off the top of my head, I can't think of a time Goldberg sticking up the old one. But I will probably use one of these because anything we can do to make points of difference between prior releases of Goldberg's, I'm going to do that. And he's never had fingers like this with the one finger up in the air. So I will probably end up putting those on there. So that is uh, decent for the hands. And of course, you got two gripping regular hands there for Goldberg. If we get down to the accessories here, some of the other stuff we got going on. And very cool. Like I said at the boardroom, they're trying to figure out how do we make this ultimate. Well, let's give Goldberg some belts from the WCW days. So very cool to get the United States Championship title belt. We've seen this a couple times, uh, but very welcome to get again, of course. Uh, very cool. Not as cool as the original U.S. title belt, I don't think, but still cool enough. Uh, definitely different. Of course, he unified the belts, much like the Ultimate Warrior back in the day, or uh, captured both of them, I guess we'd say. And then we got the big gold title belt as well. Both fabulous belts. Very easy for Mattel to throw in, as we've seen these before. Uh, but it is making this one feel ultimate. Much like that Diesel Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash Diesel, Diesel Kevin Nash, uh, ultimate Edition from the New Gen Ring. That didn't feel ultimate to me. It was a good figure, just not quite ultimate. It was missing things like this. But Goldberg here has throughout, so I like that. Now, this is interesting. First time in the line accessory, Smoke. Oh, yeah, Smoke. You could probably put this with Matt Riddle if you needed to. Maybe you have this as a Matt Riddle accessory or RVD accessory if you want them doing some stuff. Uh, but it is a very interesting one, which comes to an interesting head for Bill Goldberg. And I guess we'll look at this first. We'll just uh, dive in here. So you get Goldberg with kind of an open mouth. So it looks really strange, but if you put the smoke in, uh, it's going to make this a little bit better. And that smoke is a pretty tight fit, and that is good. It is very tight going into the mouth, very kind of hard to get in there. But it needs to be that way because you don't want this falling out slipping out and stuff uh but it is a big cloud of smoke very very interesting almost looks like a poodle like he's sucking in a poodle or something uh but very interesting accessory very interesting idea and once again how do you make this ultimate well you give it a head like this an accessory like this totally different than anything we've gotten from mattel in the past so i think that is a smart move how do they do this they had to sit at the old war room how do we make goldberg ultimate and i think they did as good of a job as they possibly could have done with the restrictions of the ultimate edition we got all the hands we need. We got the two title belts. We got extra heads. We got a first time in the line effect. I think Mattel got the job done here for an ultimate edition. So kudos to them. Uh, I think they figured that out pretty good. So there's that head here. Now I guess we'll look at the other two heads. The stock head here, a uh, very interesting Goldberg. Uh, I don't know. It's it's not mean mugging Goldberg. A lot of times he's got a mean mouth on him, and he doesn't have that. It's just kind of more plain Jane, middle of the road Goldberg, which I'm not against having that. As I always say, you kind of need a plain Jane one every once in a while something about the eyes on this one though make it look like he's about ready to go cross-eyed or he sees something he just can't believe i'm not exactly sure but i think this is a good enough head it gets the job done for what you need as a middle of the road head for goldberg here 
Now we get this one here, and I'm going to be torn. I'm probably going to use the smoke effect one because it is so different, uh, but this one isn't bad either. It's the mouth open, of course, Goldberg, always saying, who's next? You can just see him saying this, and all day long, all three of these head sculpts, you give somebody these heads, who is this? I think most people would say Goldberg. I'm sure a couple people might that don't know might say Steve Austin. Uh, but you definitely, to me, if you're a wrestling fan, a collector, you know this is Goldberg. So it does definitely look good on the screaming head scan. And I think this is warranted in the Ultimate line as well. Now we're going to break down this Goldberg figure. Let's start with the articulation a little bit. Of course, being Ultimate, it's got extra articulation. But the head, side to side, uh, a lot of up and down, which you're going to need with Goldberg, especially if you're doing the spear and the jackhammer and all the fun moves he's got. So we got that going on. Uh, side to side, head is removable, as you'd imagined. Uh, then we do get, of course, the butterfly shoulders on Goldberg here. Look really good. You need the butterfly. He can do big old cross, tons of extra articulation for extra moves, spears, you name it. Now, I always have the gripe a little bit with the Ultimate Editions, and Goldberg's going to be one of those guys with a little bit of a gripe because I just, it's such an eyesore. I wish they could hide that back articulation from the butterfly. Uh, it just kind of throws things off for me. I mean, it's not god-awful by any means, and it makes sense, but I just wish there was a way to cover it. And then you get one like that Kevin Nash uh, figure we got, or the Diesel. Diesel, we got that not too long ago. That's covered with his vest, so that ends up working out okay. But Goldberg, there's nothing covering that, so that is a little bit of an eyesore, that articulation. Uh, you do get the shoulders up, down, all around like we're used to. You do get the bicep cut. Double-jointed, pinless elbows. Uh, always cool there. Hands removable, of course. And then you do get the wrist tape that is removable so you pop the hands off watch out the wrist tape will come off they are in black uh, you do get the hula hoop at the top some side to side back and forth of course waist articulation bicep or thigh cut right there thigh cut he can't do a decent split you do get double jointed knees they are pins in there though you do get a boot cut and then you do get that todd mcfarlane toe articulation got to have that so you can have him really up to ready off the toe getting ready to spear somebody through a wall spear them out of their body whatever you need to do with goldberg he does got the black elbow pads does have the black knee pads black boots black trunks he's back in black like young acdc is what he is uh but definitely good we got his iconic tattoo of course bill goldberg a very iconic tattoo uh, especially for the time and then you got the chest hair going on come on Mattel don't be scared give us that George Animal Steel Jack's real feel chest hair that's what we need we need that real feel chest hair yeah probably not but a very good looking Goldberg uh, especially if you don't have a Goldberg before you can't do any better than this uh, if this is your first Goldberg figure does he fit on a ringside collectible stand use discount code Kyle save 10 percent Fits like a glove on the Mattel stand, as you can imagine. Uh, we knew he would, but man, a good figure. Actually, like I always say, better than expected is what this one is, and we always love it when it's better than expected. I got a couple of gripes, uh, more gripes with the fans. Yes, you the fans out there in Twitter and the WWE uh, voting for. Now, I got to be honest, I'm not exactly sure those WWF or WWE attires that were the other choices, were those the white, uh, white uh, kind of rimmed trunks he had for a while, probably something like that. Whatever it ended up being, it wouldn't have been a whole lot different than this, I think. So I don't know. You couldn't really go wrong. Uh, Goldberg, a guy that doesn't scream ultimate, but is a tip-top star over the years. So it makes sense for him to be in the line. And i got to give kudos to Mattel. I think they did the best they could with what they were given for an Ultimate Edition Goldberg. So very cool there. I did grab a very similar one. Of course, the entrance greats Bill Goldberg uh, from back on the day. Now, this is an easy... Uh, upgrade here. Of course, this is old old style joints, old style style articulation. Easy for me to say. Uh, old style head, all that kind of stuff. So you could mix and match the heads if you needed to, and things like that. Uh, but definitely an upgrade. It's been a long time since this entrance great was out. And that's what we're seeing more and more from Mattel. Getting some of those old figures from back in the day back out because it is a business. And a lot of new collectors have jumped in, so they missed out on classic versions. Well, the Ultimate Edition line, the Greatest Hits line, is a way to get those back out. Uh, some of the store exclusives as well. So I see what they're doing. A guy like me doesn't really need this again. Uh, but it makes all the sense in the world when you put on your old business hat. And that's my stance on the old Bill Goldberg Ultimate Edition. What is your guys' thoughts out there in YouTube land? All in, all out, passing, picking it up? Let me know in the comments down 
down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. We're dancing closer and closer every day to 20,000 subscribers. And we need your help. And once we get there, we got something special planned for. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe with the old notification bell. Follow along on Patreon for videos like this much, much earlier than traditional YouTube. Bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways. And best of all, you do support the channel over there on the old Patreon. Uh, you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. You can find me at SirPaul64 on Twitter and Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, like I said. So for the almighty Bill Goldberg, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.